Hello and welcome to Veterans Metals Workshop. We're glad to have you with us today because we've got a great show on how United States Navy veterans can put together a superb museum quality display case to honor their service and for their family to have. So, come on, let's go take a look. <laughs> Hello, Eric. We've got a great show today because we're going to take a look at how to put together a great display case that well, reflects the service of a Navy veteran, not only for the Navy veteran, for her or him, but also for their family, because, they, well, it's a great memento and a piece of American history. So how do you go about taking together, well, everything from naval novelty patches to, well, rank and ratings, uh, ribbons, did I get that up right? I did, okay, medals even miniature medals, skill badges such as surface warfare, color rank insignia, perhaps even a special uh, challenge coin or presentation coin, or even a particularly unique and special insignia awarded to senior personnel. So we're going to take a look at that and we're going to take a look at it for in detail of how you organize all this and put it into a great case that makes it a museum quality and we'll take a look at it for World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Desert Storm, Cold War, uh, Afghanistan, Iraq, and the global war on terror. Uh, so we'll move pretty quick. Passing your seatbelt because here we go. Oh, by the way, if you enjoy these, please give us a like, even better subscribe, and it will keep us on the air. All right, let's go. In this video, I'm going to show you examples of Navy veterans' displays for World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Desert Storm, the Cold War, Iraq, Afghanistan, and the Global War on Terror. Over the last 200 plus years, the United States Navy award system has evolved into a highly structured program, often called a Pyramid of Honor. And the system is designed to reward services ranging from valor on the battlefield to superior performance of non-combat duties. These awards paint a wonderful portrait of the Navy's men and women, whose dedication to the ideals of freedom represent the rich United States naval military heritage. Naval veterans should preserve their awards and not let them fade and disintegrate like these medals of a World War I Navy hero. The preservation and the display of Navy veterans' awards is, well, not only a way to remember your service and your military heritage, but it is also a way to show an example to future generations of your family. So what are the elements and the items that go into a first-class display case for Navy veterans that show the width and the breadth of their experience? Using this display case as an example, let me go through the different badges, medals, ribbons, and insignia that a veteran can use to lay out his military history and his military heritage. The display case tells the story of a veteran's service to our country, and one of the most personal touches a veteran can do is put a picture of themselves in uniform into the display case. Another nice touch is to use a branch of service, in this case a Navy medallion, as a central focal point, so there's no doubt this is the United States Navy case. Navy veterans who've earned special qualification or skill badges should display those, such as this surface warfare badge for those who perform duties aboard U.S. surface warships. Navy ratings also tell the skills and the rank of a veteran sailor, and there are also insignia for warrant officers and officers that tell their specialty. A veteran's decorations, service medals, and foreign awards each have a unique criteria, history, and symbolism, and they are a major focal point of every veteran's display. And just as a reminder, a veteran has a lot of options on how he displays his medals because they come in the original bronze issue, they can come gold-plated, they come in a miniature format and in ribbon format. Metal and ribbon attachments like this bronze star are very important for telling the participation of a certain campaign or the number of awards. So let me show you some examples. 
example, looking at these three service medals, the Navy Good Conduct Medal, the National Defense Service Medal, and the Vietnam Service Medal, the two bronze stars on the Vietnam Service Medal indicate participation in two campaigns in the Vietnam War. These attachments are very important. For example, the gold V on the ribbon in the top left shows it was awarded for valor. The two gold stars on the next ribbon indicate a second and third award. The bronze star on the Good Conduct Medal indicates it's a second award, while the silver star on the Vietnam Service Medal indicates five campaigns. Another unique and personal item to put into a display case is a dog tag is a memento of what the veteran wore every day of his service. Commemorative medals such as this Honorable Service Commemorative Medal are often used by veterans to represent something that is personally significant to them or to represent an item which is, well, appears insignificant otherwise. Here are several examples of popular commemorative medals. The first one was the Combat Action Commemorative Medal that represents the Combat Action Ribbon. Another commemorative medal for Combat Service to indicate that the individual is in combat. And then, for example, the award of the Vietnamese Gallantry Cross Unit Citation can be represented by the Vietnamese Gallantry Cross you know, Commemorative Medal. Veterans should display their ribbon-only awards, like this prestigious Navy Combat Action Ribbon shown here, followed by the Presidential Unit Citation. And, well, let me show you some examples of unit awards. The Presidential Unit Citation, the Joint Meritorious Unit Award, the Navy Unit Commendation, the Meritorious Unit Commendation, and the Navy E. There are also other ribbon-only awards that are made to individuals for completion of certain training or specific assignment for which there is no medal. And just so you know, since World War II, the Navy has issued over 20 ribbon-only awards. Perhaps one of the most significant items that makes a great display case is the brass ID plate that identifies each medal. And that makes it easy for family members and for guests who don't know what a medal stands for to easily recognize what it is. Another item that really goes well in a display case is the Navy Collar Rank Badge. It's something that every veteran wore almost every day. Without a doubt, one of the most important things in any display case is the brass plate at the bottom which tells the who, what, when, where. In this case, when Jason served as a Petty Officer 2nd Class on the USS Coriscone in Vietnam waters. A display case like this of a Navy veteran's military heritage will be handed down generation to generation. This World War II Submariner's display case is a handsome testimony to his service. He has his Submariner's badge over his ribbons. You'll note that he has the World War II version of the Navy Good Conduct Medal. He has his rating badges. He has the correct campaign battle stars. And his Occupation of Japan, his Philippine Liberation Medal. And he's used a commemorative to show his pride in his combat action ribbon. And of course, he's got his honorable discharge pin over his brass plate at the bottom. Another great example of a Submariner in World War II is shown here with his Philippine medals along with his regular campaign medal. A really handsome case it will be, uh, well, a family heirloom forever. The Korean War was over over 60 years ago, but let me show you three interesting Navy Korean War veterans cases. The first on the left is simply elegant in which the medals are mounted over each other. But the lower left-hand corner green medal indicates that the veteran also served in Korean waters after the armistice was signed. In the center, a naval officer takes his five medals and puts them elegantly with the ribbons above in a very classic design with his rank on the bottom. And then to the right is a naval aviator that shows his distinguished flying cross, his purple heart, and the fact that he served in both World War II and the Korean conflict. This Desert Storm veteran put together a classic display case that both he and his family will always be very proud of. I really like the way this Desert Storm veteran displayed his medals because he does it in a longer, wider case, but he's got a beautiful Navy bullion 
crest in the upper left hand corner. He has his surface warfare badge over his ribbons, his rating badge. Each one of his medals has an individual brass plate to explain it. And he has his collar and insignia there along with a couple of really neat looking, well, challenge coin. This Desert Storm veteran has his display case as a very handsome focal point in his home. This Navy veteran's ribbons tells an impressive story of American recent military history. The Armed Forces Expeditionary Medal, Afghanistan, Iraq, the Global War on Terror. The example of a display case on the left reflects a Navy corpsman's service with the Marines and with an aviation unit. He has both the Air Medal and service in both Afghanistan and Iraq. And if you look in the far bottom right hand corner, he also served in Korea. On your far right, this Navy veteran uses a couple of challenge coins left and right of the Navy bullion crest and then his surface warfare badge over his ribbon and his medals neatly displayed with brass plates underneath. Every Navy veteran's service is different, and his display will be different from other veterans. In this particular case, this corpsman has both a photograph of his service, he has his badge for service with the Marines, his ribbons, he has his challenge coins from the Marines, and his medals are neatly displayed with brass plates underneath, as well as his rank badges at the bottom. Iraqi veteran puts together a neat display with the ribbons over his medals and a couple of, well, I've never seen them before, but uh, it looks like commemorative dog tags. And this final display is a very nice example of a Navy veteran of the global war on terror because he has his ribbons over his rating. He has multiple awards for meritorious service. He has all of his medals neatly identified. He even has his dog tags out left and right of his rating badges. A really handsome display of his service. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today on Veterans Medals Workshop. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as we enjoyed putting it together for you. And don't forget, there's more than a dozen more naval videos out there on the decorations and awards of the United States Navy and the specific badges of uh, skill badges for the Navy. So don't miss those. Until next time, Frank Foster saying thank you for joining us and see you next time on Veterans Medals Workshop. <laughs>